Alright, hey guys, I just got well, my favorite BTS and I had my BB500 T since October 2013. It was just not cutting it. So I had to step up my game. So I got my 580 a couple days ago out the door with the extended well four year warranty it has because I got the extended stock it's two years um, for six hundred thirteen dollars guys I work for a tree company and uh, we move heavy heavy piles of dirt uh, wood chips everything and it's just this thing wouldn't do it the way I wanted it to it's a phenomenal blower for the price three hundred dollars I paid at Home Depot. These are both two mounted units. They both have wall barrel carbs. They're not the same carb, obviously. And uh, these are both two of the top manufacturing backpack blowers, as far as the name wise. I don't like still, I won't buy them. It was between the BR, or sorry, PB770 or the 580 BTS, so. I was looking at the 570, but I was like, eh, I just, I wouldn't think I would have the power. I know it had a lot of power, guys, still, but this just has 907 CFM, which is a little hard to beat. This is comparable to some walk-behind units, um, like maybe a five-horse walk-behind unit. Maybe it might have around 1,000 CFM, a billy goat or something, maybe 1,200, but nothing much more than this. Until you get to the 13 horsepower billy goats and and little wonders and stuff. So, getting into this, uh, we're just going to compare a medium sized average backpack blower. Great for a homeowner, great for a professional um, in the summer just blowing off grass to a unit compared to this. So, we're going to get in the pros and cons of mid size and big. So, the first pro. Well, let's go through the pros on the PB500T. Gas mileage, or, wow, gas mileage, uh, fuel economy is, um, it's not bad. I mean, it is a 50.2 cc motor. So you are going to use a little bit of fuel, but um, it's it's really not that bad. Um, weight. Now, this unit is 21 pounds. Don't correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. I know it's right around there and has barely any padding. So it's not the most comfortable unit, but it is pretty light, so it's not that bad to use for an extended period of time. Another pro is the cost. It's, like I said, $300. It's pretty affordable, so it's not bad. Pros, Walbro Carb. NGNK spark plug. So and it's pretty quiet. It's only 70 decibels. So and now let's get to the pros of the 580. Guys, I really can't believe I have this floor, but I do. Uh, pros. Well, the fuel tank is huge. It's all about 80 ounces. Pros are power. Completely amazes me the power this thing has. Another pro is the air box. I really do like it. Seems like it's gonna last you a good amount of time. Pro padding, phenomenal. It's a very heavy unit, but you do have pretty good padding. It's already getting dirty. Um, yeah, just excellent straps. Um, behind here, actually, it has some cooling units. I won't take that off, but there's vents behind in here. So that's very nice. Another pro. Look at guys. Look at the tube sizes. It does have just about double the power of that. I mean, look at. And this really is not even that small of a backpack blower, too. I mean, it's 52. You're 50.2 cc's. This is 76.5. No, 70. Actually, here. Here's the stats. Okay, guys. They're bigger, so you can actually read it. It is loud, 77 decibels. Emissions hours 300, and yeah, it says, I think it's 75.5, but it says 76 here. Uh, that's a 70 decibel unit. So, 
It's not too bad. This was built, I believe, in August of 2013, or March, sorry. So it sat on the shelf, or in July right now. Um, this first of a 570. I've never used a 570, but some people say they're equal. To be honest, for big piles of leaves, I guarantee this thing will blow that thing away. But for smaller piles of leaves, you, where more miles per hour will come into play, maybe the 570 will get it, but now we're going to cons. Cons, cons, cons. Always the worst. Like I said, comfort on the PB. Power is kind of a con, but you really can't expect too much out of it. And, uh, that's about it, really. I mean, there's not much more bad to say about it. It's just a decent unit. Uh, cons. Fuel economy. It blows on fuel, guys. It really does. Weight. Weight is a huge con. Uh, the move this thing around is kind of a con. So, I mean, it's nothing. It's kind of what you're expecting as a big, big backpack blower unit. A price is kind of a con, too. It is, it's an expensive unit, guys. And you have to think, you know, is it going to be worth me buying this or this? So, um, I mean, just look at the tube size, guys. Here. All right, here. This is only one of the tubes, but, so, I mean, you could see Obviously, one's gonna be taller, but just the thickness of the tubes are uh, pretty incredible. I mean, look at it. So, I mean, that's why I took off that one for a little bit more CFM. So now comes the part a lot of you guys have been waiting for. It's the start. <clears throat> now, I just got this blower. I'm not quite used to, you know, the choke and other things, well I am, but, I mean, I'll get used to knowing where to put the choke for temperature wise, because we're in the summer, and it's pouring outside, uh, another con about both, for $600, I really wish Husqvarna, you would make a switch that would go back on the on position after you shut it off, I mean, come on, how hard is that, and it's just a nice feature, same thing with the BB500T, I won't blame that one because it's cheaper. A uh, throttle is a little stiff uh, compared to this. I mean, I could do it very, very easily with the pinky. This one, it's a little tough. So to start them, and I'm gonna do no choke. So maybe choke. Maybe cold start it. Yeah, big primer bowl. This thing's a pain. I'm gonna put you guys down to start this thing. There's no way I'll be able to do it one handed. go there's your two units very impressed it all depends what needs you need obviously the 580 is just it's a bad blower guys <laughs> not in a bad way but oh man just gets your blood throwing oh, man. so I'm gonna let you guys go now the fuel that they give you it's a 95 octane for the warranty man this stuff smells so, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Because I did. Goodbye.